so we've got this all programmed. Let's say this is, you know, the first revision or the first part of a part family um, that are all constructed in a similar fashion. And so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get to the part view sheet, and then we're going to right click and we're going to go to top view, look straight down on this part like this. Then we're going to come up here to model prep. We're going to go to model prep and I'm going to use move. Then I'm going to take and select all of this geometry starting, you know, uh, well to the left of, of this fillet right here because I want all of this geometry to move two inches x positive two. So I'm just going to hover over this and then type in two and press enter and press enter again and then you're going to see the model uh, move. Now what you're seeing here is the stock model, which we haven't updated yet. Just to avoid confusion, I'll toggle the visibility of that off. So we've adjusted the model, and I'm going to go to levels. I have a little dimension layout here, so that did exactly what we're looking for. Um, we moved all of those features down two inches. And then we're going to go into the stock level. Stock needs to change now. So we're going to pull the end of the stock two inches because we need two inches of additional material. So that's taken care of. Then we're going to come into planes. Let's go back to the part view. And we're going to take a look at um, the front for CNC view. You're going to see that the origin uh, for the machining for this is still where the original boss was. So I'm going to click this button and I'm going to snap that to the center of this. I've got to turn my auto cursor center snap back on. Okay, snap that there. We're going to go back to the uh, back for CNC and do the same thing. It's zero needs to be shifted. So we're going to go to back for CNC G57, we're going to take this and snap this back. Okay, we're going to come over to tool paths. We're going to go select all and regenerate. And stock model and we're done. So that's the uh, entire revision. And we're going to send it into Mastercam Simulator. Take a quick look. Stock is updated. Let's show the workpiece make the stock translucent. Machining on all four views has been updated. And back over here and post. OK. We'll open the editor, tell it to update all four windows. And we have G54, 5, 6, and 7 for the new part shape. So it's uh, just about three minutes to make that change and update all four programs.